Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about extract pick list value based on the record type without any call out in Spring 26. So this is the Apex feature. So you have to learn because it's a new and it's very helpful for us if you have this kind of requirement. So you can implement this this type of methods because it's a new method inside it. We will see one by one here. All right. So if you are new in this channel, so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my end so first of all i have already created lots of video regarding this you know spring 26 release so here you can see this is for lwc and uh, here you can see this is for apex this is also apex lwc and here you can see this top features regarding the flows admin development lwc everything you can uh, watch from here as well because it's a free content or you can leverage this knowledge day by day because it's very helpful for us if you are up to date definitely it will be more chances to grow up your knowledge day by day so that's why i'm telling you these things okay so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me tell you what is this so extract pick list value based on the record type right so and get the value of all the pick list field for the particular record type by using a new method that is called connect api dot record ui dot get pick list value by record type and under this method you have to pass object api name and a record type id okay so previously in apex you could not directly get the pick list value that were specific to a record type without making any callouts right so no need worry about any callouts here because there is no integration as of now here you can just directly use these methods okay so now let me show you code and then we will see one by one here right so uh, with the upcoming you know uh, you know release that is called spring 20 it's like a pre-release org and it's a uh, having this kind of feature and it would be possible to fetch pick list value from a particular record type without making any callouts. We will already discuss it. So let me show you the VS code and then we will see it. So before VS code, let me open my org. So this is my org here. You can see under here in the object, let me open the account object. You can open any object. It, it might be like custom or standard It's up to you. For now, I'm using the account object as you know standard object and let me click on the record type so here you can see the record type right so let me delete this record type first of all you can create new one okay okay because it have some dependencies so don't worry about it we can create new one don't worry so let me create a new record type and here in the record type you have to pass the you know label api name is by default and select existing record time as master let's say demo rt demo record type okay make it active make it available for all the profiles as of now and just click on the next and once you clicked on the next you will be see the page layout so let me select the default page layout like uh, account layout click on the save button and once you clicked on the save button now after that you have to test uh, this record type right this record type how many values we have the pick list value here you can see like this is the pick list like ac uh, account source active industry rating sla everything you can see this one so this record type associate with these all pick list values but how to you know programmatically we can fetch pick list value or extract the pick list value based on the record type so that's, that is the motive of this video. Let's see in the action. So this is my VS code and this is an anonymous window in the VS code. If you don't know about it, you can watch my earlier video regarding the VS code setup in the Salesforce and you can learn these all things, right? So let me, you know, let me create a, some snippet for this, you know, a new methods. So first of all, I can use my schema class, right? So I need to use my schema class because schema is the base class of these all. So S object, S object. So I need to use like S object type. Okay, dot. I need to use my account object. Then dot 
get record type info by developer name i need to use this one so get we have lots of method like get record okay record get record type type info info infos by developer name okay and after that you have to uh, use this one because this developer name dot get right and you have to pass your record type so my record type uh, here you can see my record type name is demo underscore rt so let me copy it paste it here right and after that you have to use like dot get record type id so it will return an id so you can store it into the id variable like id and here let's say record type id something like that okay let me see it's printing or not so you can use like system dot debug but i have different approach so i can use my approach like a console dot log and here i can use my label let's say uh, record type id colon not colon is already there in my and record type this one after that after that just save this and let me execute it and once you execute it it's having the error why because because i didn't uh, uh, you know add the semicolon that's why so just save this and after that let me run it so once you run it immediately here you can see in debug record type id and this arrow after that record type id so this is my record type id here you can see all right so now this is the record type id here okay so let me close it so this is how you can get the record type id like this after that we have to use the new method okay and that is related to the connect api so we have to use like connect connect api right dot and here pick list values collections so we have to use pick list value collection so pick list uh, value it's a value values collection okay collection collection equal to uh, pick list value uh, you can use any pick list value plt anything plt equal to connected you know connect api like connect api dot and this is the new method here connect api dot record ui right ui dot get pick list value by record type so we have to use this method get pick list okay pick list values by record type id by record type so we have to use by record type here after that you have to pass two parameter first is which object uh, you want to as a like a you know record type id of the record type of the particular object so you can pass your object here like account and after that record type so based on the you know record type id and based on the you know object is is getting the pick list collection values so it's a collection then we can iterate it right so let me debug it first of all let's say console like console so pick list plt okay and let me run it and here you can see some error why because it's having some mistakes why let me check what's the mistake i have done so connect connect api dot pick list values that is correct collection and result or you can use anything as you want here i missed like semicolon so just save this and now let me execute it so after that after that you will be see here right you will be see here all the you know pick list value regarding here so in this account object and this based on this record type we have this kind of values here you can see everything right and now you can see these all things here right so after that you can just comment out here because i don't want this one 
and also I don't want this one why because we already tested that's why so no need after that you have to iterate it right so how to iterate it very simple and very useful way to do this so in the four connected pick list values and here we have to use like plt dot pick pick list filled values so here we have to use like pick list pick list filled values okay values dot get and this get method we have to use it let's say i want to get the rating one rating pick list value after that dot values we have to use like values okay and here we can print like a console.log rating pick list values label with values like this just save this and here just let me execute it and just come down come down here here you will be see this one uh, let me see here like a pick list value somewhere so let me search this one in the filter so I can use like filter now immediately you can see like pick list values hot hot warm warm cold cold and this is for debug so you can use this one or oh, let me clear the debug log or you know uh, this filter as well and let me execute again and just come down here immediately you can see my output right like pick list value so this rating field have three values like hot cold and warm that's why you can see you can change it any kind of you know field here like as a pick list so based on the record type it's showing the values like this so this is how you can leverage this new feature in spring 26 for the apex so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my end also please do let me know in the comment section if you have any query question regarding this video or any topic related to the salesforce so i will be happy to help you guys so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys bye bye